Hello everyone. Today we will be going to solve a problem from code forces round 350 division 2 magic powder 1. So let's see what the problem tells us. So waking up in the morning, Apollonia decides to bake cookies. Okay. To bake a cookie, she needs n ingredients, and for each ingredient, she knows the value of AI. How many grams of ingredient one need to bake a cookie? To prepare one cookie, Apollonia needs to use all the ingredients. Okay, so Apollonia has B I gram of iron in ingredient. Also, she has uh, K grams of a magic powder. So each gram of magic powder can be turned to exactly one gram of the N ingredients and can be used for baking cookies. So our task is to determine the maximum number of cookies which Apollonia is used to make. Uh, used to make using the magic powder. So the question is telling us that uh, Apollonia has decided to bake cookies. So in total she has ingredients and she needs to use all the ingredients to make the cookies. So she has a amount like a value AI of how many grams required to bake a cookie. So on the other hand she has a certain amount of all the ingredients like BI gram and she has a magic powder K which can be turned exactly one gram of any of the N ingredients and used to for baking cookies. So our task is to determine the maximum number of cookies she can make using all the ingredients. So let's see. Uh, so let's go to the code and code it out. If we take the example, suppose uh, if we take the example here. Let's take the example. Okay, so if we suppose the example, this is the amount that we have that is uh, required for making one cookie, and this is what we have. Okay, so if you see, uh, to make one cookie, we have that ratio, and for making, uh, we have this amount of things with us, and for one cookie, we need this ratio. So, for this, let's dry run it. So, suppose for making the first cookie, it will take 214. Okay, for the second cookie, it will take four two eight. For the third cookie, it will take six three and uh, twelve. And for the fourth cookie, it will take eight four and sixteen. So we have reached the amount uh, here for sixteen here for the last element. So the first element is we have more amount in it like. We have 11 in total, but here it is only required to 8. And for the second element, we are at most 3, but now we have 4. So we will use this one. So one denotes the magic powder. We can convert the magic powder into any one gram of any of the elements. So this will be turning into 4, and this will be turning into this will be 3, but in the sense we can make it this amount into 4 by using this magic powder the final answer we can make a total of four cookies from it so if you can see here it is the output is four so let's see we can go to the code and code this out quickly so first of all we will be taking two integers n and k the number of ingredients and the magic powder then we will take a sequence ai which is equal to the ingredients required to bake and the bi the number of ingredients which we have okay so let's quickly code it out so first of all we'll take n and k n will representing the number of ingredients and k will be representing the magic powder so let's take a vector vector of long long at the required of size n okay so, so let's input the quantities in it i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus c in required i so we will take this input we will take another vector half here let's copy paste it let's change the name half and input half okay so we have the required and the ingredients have ingredients okay so what we will do we will have to perform the binary implementation binary search here so first of all we have to take the low and height element okay so low will be zero and how and high we will decide like the maximum uh, the maximum limit of the powder k will be thousand and 
if if we let the contain sequence the elements can be at most to be 1000 so that highest element will be 1000 plus 1000 2000 plus 1 so this will be our highest element this will be our rounded digit okay so let's take it as 2000 plus 1 2001 we'll take so let's write the binary implementation while low less than equals to high let's run it we have to find a mid value mid will be the number of items we can make okay so uh, we will write as low plus high minus low by 2 okay this is the number of items we can make means the cookies so we have to find out the cost of making this number of items so here mid will be indicating the number of cookies i guess okay so we have to find out uh, the cost to make this cookies so for that we will run a for loop we will be requiring all the n ingredients so the loop will start from i equals to 0 it will run till i less than n i plus plus and how will in uh, count the cost uh, let's say cost plus equals to Uh, what we will do we will take a uh, like uh, the required value required i into mid okay and we'll subtract the half from it means the quantities so suppose suppose the quantity that we have is more than the quantity required to may, uh, make the mid number of values what we will do is compare it with a zero so that we will, we don't get a negative number here so we will uh, write the we will get uh, write the max value between it okay so let me take a uh, z equals to 0 and let me take a cost here <coughs> let me take a cost equals to 0 here also okay so we can here count the cost here so we have found the cost so now what we have to do okay So now we have to see if the cost is less than equals to k. It means that we can make more amount of cookies. So what we will do? We will if low equals to mid plus one, and else if we can't, if the cost is greater than k, means we can't make so many number of uh, cookies. What we will do? High equals to low minus one. Okay. And finally, what will be the output? suppose uh, at the last if it is low equals to high so suppose low equals to high what will happen is what will happen is low will be incrementing to low equals to mid plus 1 okay and the high will be remaining as it is so high will be the answer so we will be outputting the high and suppose end l okay so if we take an example here and paste it let's run the code so it will be here it will be mid minus 1 so let's run the output and we have got a four here uh, if we copy this one also if we paste it Will be three. Let's see. It's three. So let's download the code. And let's submit it. Yeah, it's accepted. So thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.